Long before Iron Man wore his suit and Captain America wielded his shield on the big screen, there was an Oscar winning animated film about a family of superheroes. Remember The Incredibles? It had everything we now expect from Marvel type films. And then some heart, humor, and action mixed with ahead of its time animation. That hilarious family of super powered people with relatable problems. What's the toughest thing about being a superhero? Trying to live a normal life. Well, more than a dozen years after the original film made its debut, director Brad Bird finally revealed details about his highly anticipated Incredible sequel, which will release on June 15, 2018. And here is everything we know about the long-awaited sequel. But before we start, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you are new, and be sure to leave a comment down below of what you thought of the video as we will respond to every single one of you guys. Now here's a quick word from Hypelit. Hey, did you know Hypelit store makes the coolest merchandise just for you? Place your order today as everything is 50% off and get completely free shipping no matter where you are. Hypelitstore.com, there's a bit of everything for everyone. Jack-Jack has many more powers than we realized. At the end of The Incredibles, we learn the youngest Parr family member has many skills, including the ability to shapeshift and turn into fire, but his powers clearly don't end there. In an Incredibles 2 clip shared at D23, fans learn that Jack-Jack has elastic skin, can shoot laser beams out of his eyes, and is also able to walk on walls and can multiply at will. The baby used all of these powers in a fight with a raccoon. This is kind of what the t-shirt is here. It's a little symbol of uh, Jack-Jack's multiple powers, but the interesting thing is that the family doesn't know anything about those powers. There will be new heroes. All of the main Incredibles voice actors including Samuel L. Jackson, who played the family friend Frozone, and also Craig T. Nelson, Mr. Incredible, and Holy Hunter who played Elastic Girl. They all showed up at D23 because of all the characters are re returning in the sequel with a new, younger voice for Dash. Also, Bird says there will be new heroes with amazing powers that rival the Incredibles. Uh, you know, it's basically the first time all of the, the voice cast has been together on stage at once. There have been various combinations that have happened, but it hasn't all been at once. So we had Craig T. Nelson, who plays uh, Mr. Incredible. We have Holly Hunter, who does the voice of Helen or Elastigirl. Uh, we had Sam Jackson, who does uh, Lucius Best, also known as Frozone. Um, and Sarah Vowell, who did Violet. And uh, we have a newcomer named Huck Milner, who does the voice of Dash. Elastigirl will see plenty of action. In the first film, Mr. Incredible went off to have his own superhero fun while his wife took care of the kids. This time around, however, a certain chain of events puts at the forefront of action, while Bob has to stay home to face his biggest challenge yet. What's that challenge? As Nelson explained in the backstage, his character is dealing with daughter Violet, a love-stricken girl, and Jack-Jack running around, and as well Dash, who gets his own problems. Edna Mode will be back. Though Bird didn't explicitly reveal anything about Moe's return, the sassy character who constructed the Parr family's power-specific superhero suits, it's safe to assume that she'll appear in the sequel. How do we know? Because Disney's Pixar animation chief, John Lasseter, presented a D23 clip all about how Mode is a fashion icon. According to real people in the industry, she designed a dress for me at the Emmys and I knew that I'd made it as a model. Andy Klum says in the video, she's a visionary, a giant. Kendall Jenner also adds, She's a visionary, a giant. I mean, well, not literally. The story picks up right where it left off. Though more than a decade has passed in real time, Incredible 2 starts right after the Pars defeated Syndrome in the first movie. Originally, I thought Craig and I might be grandparents, Hunter said backstage about voicing Elastigirl. Instead, the movie starts 45 seconds later. She says, this is mind-blowing. Bob, throw me! This isn't the end of it! I will get you The animation will be better. Yeah, obviously, Bird showed animation tests at D23 that reveal a wider range of emotional expressions for each character. 
Utilizing new animation technology is like having a better car to drive, he said. We're able to do more. There will be a time jump. Since the first Incredibles film was released a long time ago, many assumed that the appropriate time would have separated the sequel and that Incredibles 2 would catch up with the superhero family with the children now all grown up. However, now that we know that the movie will take place right after the events of the first, we can surmise that that won't be the case. Or will it? While it won't be at the beginning, it could take place in the middle of the film or during its final act. With so many superpowers involved, it's entirely possible to see future versions of the Par Kids through time travel or just a good old fashioned time jump. Mr. Incredible is a stay at home dad. The first Incredibles film saw Bob Parr, aka Mr. Incredible, sneak back into a life of superhero adventure. Trying to reclaim the glories of his past, Bob put on his suit again but stumbled into an elaborate trap that managed to put his entire family at risk. Thanks to the teaser and the official trailer of the sequel, we now know that Bob Parr will opt to stay at home and take care of his children while his wife Helen is out gallivanting as a superhero. After all, Bob is currently the only one who knows of Jack-Jack's developing and highly volatile superpowers, and it will be interesting to see how he handles this side of fatherhood. Hey honey, how are the kids? Everything's great. Is she having adolescence? And Jack-Jack? <laughs> He's in excellent health. The new villain is a mystery, but he has a plan. Amid all the things we know and don't know about The Incredibles 2, there is something that falls in between the identity of the movie's villain. But who is this mysterious villain and why the secrecy? It took a long time for The Incredibles 2 to happen, which goes to show that writer and director Brad Bird took his time in figuring out the right story for his characters. Surely this mysterious new villain's plan is crucial to the story, and its effects will reverberate on the entire Parr family. The secrecy only makes us believe that the villain's identity will come as a surprise or a twist. So far, we know very little about the villain from The Incredibles 2. The only tiny bit of information we have is in the description of the trailer, where the character is described to be a new villain who hatches a brilliant and dangerous plot. And all that tells us is that we've never met the character before, which really doesn't narrow it down. Meaning it isn't the Underminer that teased villain at the end of The Incredibles, which is shocking. A Breaking Bad Reunion in the first Incredibles film, Rick Dicker was a character that worked as sort of a secret liaison between the government and the Parr family. He was voiced by Bud Lucky, who has worked on many different Disney Pixar movies. However, Lucky will be replaced in the sequel by actor Jonathan Banks, most famously known for his role as Mike in Breaking Bad and its spin-off series, Better Call Saul. This movie will set up a third chapter. The first Incredibles movie ended with a cliffhanger. While that is just the nature of superhero storytelling, we already know that the sequel will pick up on the thread established so very long ago. This had led to some to speculate that we might be getting a similar treatment with The Incredibles 2. Surely Disney and Pixar know that the movie is highly anticipated and that it might turn into a box office hit, with the studios willing to delve intro trilogy territory such as Toy Story, Cars, stands the reason that The Incredibles could join that exclusive group. After all, there is infinite potential for the Pars adventures and a secret world only be logical. Now that you made it through to the end of the video, you know everything you need to know about The Incredibles 2. That's gonna be it for us today, so don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you are new and be sure to leave a comment down below of what you thought of the video as we will respond to every single one of you guys. And as always, don't forget to check out Hypelit. Place your order today as everything is 50% off and get completely free shipping no matter where you are. HypeLitStore.com, there's a bit of everything for everyone. Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Also don't forget to turn that post notification bell on so you never miss our uploads. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.